Hello, how to evaluate with a calculator? This is 8 power 8 minus 8 power 7. So we express this 8 here as summation of 7 and 1. We have 8 power 7 plus 1 minus 8 power 7. Now if you have 8 power x plus y, this equals 8 power x times 8 power y. Applying this here, we have 8 power 7 times 8 power 1 minus 8 power 7. We factor out 8 power 7. This divides 8 power 7, we have 8 minus 8 power 7 divides 8 power 7, we have 1. So from here, I have 8 power 7 times 8 minus 1, that is 7. So this is just like writing 8 power 7 times 7. So from here, remember 8 equals 2 power 3. So you replace 8 with 2 power 3. That means we are going to have 2 power 3 raised to the power of 7 times 7. And if you have a power x raised to the power of y equals a power xy. 3 times 7, that is 21. So we have 2 power 21 times 7. Now I can express this as 20 plus 1 summation. We have 2 power 20 plus 1, that is 21, times 7. And if you have a power x plus y equals a power x times a power y. So from here, we have 2 power 20 times 2 power 1 times 7. And to find the value of 2 power 20, you can express this as 2 power 10 raised to the power of 2 because 10 times 2 is 20 times 2 power 1 is 2 times 7. Now remember, 2 power 10 equals 2 power 5 times 2, which is 2 power 5 raised to the power of 2. And 2 power 5 is 32 raised to the power of 2. And this is 1024. Because 32 times 32 is 1024. So from here, I replace this with 1024 upon 1024 power 2 times 2 times 7. And to find the value of 1024 power 2, you can express this as 1000 plus 24 raised to the power of 2 times 2 times 7. If you have x plus y raised to the power of 2, this equals x squared plus y squared plus 2 times x1. So applying that right here, I will have 1000 squared plus 24 squared plus 2 times 1000 times 24 and that is all and this is times 2 times 7 so from here 1000 squared is 1 million plus 24 squared that is 24 times 24 and that is 576 plus 2 times 1,000, 2,000 times 24, that is 48,000. And this will multiply 2 and times 7. So from here, we add this together. 576 plus 48,000 plus 1 million, this is 1 million. 576 times 2 times 7. So let's multiply this out. 1048576 times 2. So you multiply this out. 2 times 6, that is 12, 2 carry over 1. 2 times 7, that is 14 plus 1, 15. 5 carry over 1. 2 times 5, 10 plus 1, 11. 1 carry over 1. 2 times 8, 16 plus 1, 17. 7 carry over 1. 2 times 4, 8 plus 1, 9, 2 times 0, 0, 
to transform, we have two. So this is what we are getting. So what we are going to do will be to multiply this by seven to get our final answer. We have two zero nine seven one five two times seven. Right? So we have seven times two. That is fourteen for carry over one. Seven times five. That is thirty five plus one thirty six six carry over two. Seven times one. 7 plus 3, then 0 carry over 1. 7 times 7, 49 plus 150, 0 carry over 5. 7 times 9, that is 63. 63 plus 5, 68. 8 carry over 6. 7 times 0. Zero zero plus six, we have six. Seven times two, we have fourteen. So this is what we are getting for eight to the power of seven minus eight to the power of six. Right? Is it true? Or is it eight to the power of eight? I think it's eight to the power of eight. This place is eight minus eight to the power of seven. This place is seven. I think this is what we got. Let me confirm. This was the question. Of course, that is it. And our answer is simply we have fourteen million six hundred and eighty thousand and sixty four. So this is it. And this answer is also similar to when you have 8, which is 2 power 3, raised to the power of 8, minus 2 power 3, raised to the power of 8. This will give you 14 million, 680, 664. If you multiply this out, what you get is 2 to the power of this is 20. Four. Remember, this is seven. This is three times eight. That is twenty-four minus two to the power of three times seven. That is twenty-one. This will give you fourteen million six hundred eighty thousand and sixty-four. And we have achieved this without the use of calculator, guys. So don't forget to subscribe and share. Thank you and goodbye.